Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am popping the Adele shirt to celebrate her new song, Easy On Me. I got an opportunity to see Adele in Madison Square Garden in New York City in 2016. It was one of the best experiences of my life. Don't want to uh, talk too much about it, but it was amazing. But it is the launch of her new song, so I'm sporting the shirt for the day. Anyway. I have a second segment of Trash Talk, and I know you guys really liked this segment before, where I talk about what I used up in the month. It could be candles, wax melts, soaps, shower gels, any consumable product that I finished up throughout the month, I just put in this bin. I don't necessarily start with candles and work my way down. It literally is what is in the bin, and yeah, so let's talk about it. But I also want to add a little small thing. Do you see my subscriber count? 9,998 subscribers as of when I'm filming this video. We are super close to 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 waxaholics, 10,000 home fragrance lovers, 10,000 Drew watchers. And I'm super excited about that. And to celebrate, 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. So make sure, if you're not subscribed now, subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you're alerted every time I upload. And we're going to have a huge giveaway when I do hit that 10,000. So make sure you stay tuned. But for now, I have a lot of trash to talk about. So let's get into it. thing in my bin is a candle. And this is from the brand Times. And this is their Simmered Cider Candle. So for one, I fell in love with the little jar. It is a little mini copper kettle. This was a three wick candle. And one thing about this, they make, they're famous for, if you watched my Destination Wax haul, their Fraser Fur scent. It's like the best Christmas tree scent. But when I was in a little boutique, that sells them here in Pittsburgh. This Times Simmered Cider, I was blown away by the scent. It's like the most rich, decadent cider, but there's definitely like a boozy element to it and you smell it in the candle. It smells like you're truly making a pot of cider. Now, did not get the best throw. And the wax is literally like Vaseline and it just does not perform. The flames were super, super small. It just, it had a hard time pulling out. It is a very odd shape, so I will give it that, but just did not perform. And I think it was like $54 for this candle, so did not perform like I would expect. I love the scent, hated the burn. So for that one, probably wouldn't repurchase it. I do love the scent though. The next candle is a Chestnut Hill Candle Company candle. Now this is a company, I believe it's in West Virginia, and I think it's in West Virginia, and it's not super far from here, and when I went to a Christmas festival, I swung by there on the way home because I knew they were there, and they opened up their first retail shop. Now, their candles are two wicks. It did burn down pretty well, but as you can see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of black soot on there. That's what happens with these candles. When it gets about halfway, you start to develop the black soot. And you also find more black soot on a candle that has a lip on it because you figure that flame is going up and it's catching on that lip. So that's where you're going to find a lot of your soot on candles. Now, as far as the scent goes, campfire, it's like a smoky, marshmallowy fireside scent. It smells like marshmallow fireside, but more heavy on the campfire. I like their candles. The performance is hit or miss on them. This one performed well, but the jar lids, oh my god. Like, a horror to store. So, I'm not a fan of that. What I have going, actually, right now in all my warmers is a throwback from Vintage Chic Scents. This was a three-pack of her leaves. Her leaves her leaf shapes, and this is in the scent The Craft. Now this was poured in August of 2018. You guys, it is throwing like mad in my apartment. It's crazy, and it it's like a gooey, rich, more creamy marshmallow mixed with uh, Cider Lane, in my opinion. It's like a, a very creamy, rich apple cider scent. It's delish. I finished a scoop from L3 Waxy Wonders in Pumpkin Apple. I actually, this says BBW type. I like this 
as I drop it. <laughs> I like this scent way more than I like the candle. To me, it smells more fruity apple than pumpkin. And I sometimes I've said this before that it, the candle has like a meaty smell. I don't know why, but it has like a weird meaty smell to me that I'm just not a fan of. So, yeah, I really like that from L3. I definitely would repurchase that. Speaking of L3, I, there's a lot of L3 in here. I finished a clam and black currant tea. I did three cubes in my bathroom on one day, three cubes on another day. This was in like a mystery box. I don't love her clams. It, they have that plasticky smell, but it was an okay scent. It smelled just like a black tea. Nothing crazy. It's not a scent I would ever, like, think about purchasing myself. So it was okay. And I will say, this melting basket, I will start doing actual melting baskets. I'm just trying to get in the groove of how I want to do it. Do I want to do them weekly? Do I want to do them bi-weekly? Sometimes I'm, like, in the mood to melt something, but I'm not sure. So, like, it's just a very like hit or miss for me depending on what I'm really into melting that that day necessarily so I don't know I'm still working on it I have a big stack of bags here so the first one we have is from L3 this was a two pack of bunts and this is strawberry pound cake don't cross streams now I've talked about how much I love her bunts before too I love the shape I can get eight melts out of one two bunts and I pop them throughout all my warmers and call it a day this scent you guys so yummy. That Don't Cross Streams is an extra creamy bakery vanilla mixed with the strawberry pound cake. This to me is like what strawberry pound cake should smell like. Sometimes I think strawberry pound cake comes off a little too chemically for me. So mixed with the Don't Cross Streams, amazing. This I got in the mail on the 5th of June, so it definitely had some good cure time, but oh my god, love it. Pharmacist's Daughter, I Smell Fall, Marshmallow Fireside and S'mores, pop this in a tea light warmer, pop this in hot plates, no throw, and it smelled like I didn't like it. Pharmacist's Daughter, Fireside Beignet, we'll not talk about that. Uh, I, I just don't even want to talk about her anymore. I've given her enough fair chances, and I don't like the wax. Don't like the company, will not order ever again. From L3, I finished a loaf in banana cinnamon roll. This was good. It was not, I don't think, a re, I don't think it's going to be a repurchase. I like it. You definitely pick up on the banana and like a creamy bakery. I don't necessarily think it smells like a cinnamon roll per se. I was so excited to see this in the restock. Like, so excited. I knew I needed to order a loaf of it. But I just was not as big of a fan as I thought. I wish it had more cinnamon roll to it. Now this on the other hand, Blackberry Fizzy Bubbly. I also finished a loaf. This scent, you guys, is incredible. It's like rich, juicy blackberries. Oh, and her Frosty Fizzy Bubbly is like ginger ale. I like her ginger ale better than Fizzy Pop. I really do because it adds a second layer to the Fizzy Pop. So Lori Brown, if you're watching this, Blackberry Frosty Fizzy Bubbly, amazing, 10 out of 10. Super fruity, rich bakery, or bakery, um, Fizzy. The Dolly Made Me Do It. I actually really like this scent. This is another loaf from L3. Strawberry cotton candy, strawberry white cake, marshmallow, and crunchy cereal pieces. See, I like L3. Just a lot of, like, crazy blends. Like, blackberry, frosty, fizzy, bubbly. Easy. This, I don't necessarily smell cereal to me. It's like a creamy strawberry bakery. And I am such an advocate for strawberry scent. I love strawberry, but I feel like that is the one where a lot of scents really do start to smell similar when you start to blend so many strawberries. But it's a good scent. I really like it. It's through really well. I rarely have a problem with L3 throwing. This is Cinnamon Sugar White Elephant Exchange. This was another two pack of bunts. Love this. This is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting, and cinnamon sugar. It smells just like cinnamon sugar toast. Like, just like it. Like, sometimes you, I feel like you even need to, like, sneeze after you smell it because it's like, oh, the cinnamon sugar got up my nose. It's super realistic. Like, the most decadent, delicious cinnamon sugar toast. Love. I finished from The Melted Moose, one of her souffles. And this is in Cider Lane, Leaves, and Marshmallow Fireside. 
so good. So I love Cider Lane, so I would not not think I wouldn't like this. I love it. It's delish. And for the souffles, I cut them into four pieces, popped it in four warmers. You do not even need a knife to cut or um microwave to cut melted mousse. It cuts like butter. Did I talk about this one? It fell on the ground. This one. Whoop. I'm losing all my things. I finished a Teddy B's. So when I said in my video I have never tried Teddy B's, that's correct. I never ordered from Teddy B's. I do have three chunk bags that a friend gifted to me that I was really wanting to save until the pre-order shipped so I could like build up a hype and anticipation to melt them. But I couldn't wait. My pre-order should ship the first week of November. But I did try Mosaic. And this is sweet raspberries, sugar cookies, and rich peach cobbler. I cut the chunks, 90% of them I think I cut in half. A bigger one I cut into thirds. You guys, this scent smells so good on cold. Sweet raspberry, sugar cookie, peach cobbler. But her peach, when I popped this in the warmer, yeah, it, it threw. It smelled like throw up. I did not like this in the warmer. And I know it's not Teddy B's, it's the peach oil. I Sometimes peach, when you pop it in the warmers for me, gives me like a vomit vibe, and it totally did. So, I'm glad it threw well. I just, well, the scent was rough. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles White Elephant Exchange from L3. This is in Puppy Packs, my least favorite shape. And the only reason why I actually melted this was because the bag ripped open when I was smelling it. I just don't feel like pumpkin pecan waffles needs any more bakery sometimes. Like, for this, it was just a very rich vanilla mix with pumpkin pecan waffles. I really couldn't detect both of them. I just like pumpkin pecan waffles on its own. I finished a hand soap in white pumpkin. I love this scent. This is gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. Love this scent. It's like a creamy, rich, warm, pumpkin-y scent. From Yankee Candle, this is interesting. Actually, you can see the oil dripping. See right here? It's like dripping. This is in Toasted Pumpkin Treats. You see the soot? Oh my god. You guys, I could not keep the wick short enough on this candle. And I'm actually having that same issue with this candle, the Crisp Campfire Apples. It, like, after two hours, the flame shoots up high and it is uncontrollable. I have an alumalid on it. I do not know what's going on with these new Yankee candles, but oh my god, it like, the flames shoot so high on them. And I only have that issue with the jars. And this is, like I said, this is the, this one is doing the same thing to me and I got them both at the same time. So I don't know what the issue is. The scent was okay. It was like a burnt pumpkin scent. It was nice and burnt not in a, like, gross way. It was like a, uh, like a toasty, like it says, toasted pumpkin, but no throw. I don't even know why I bought it. Speaking of no throw, pumpkin banana scone. This is another Yankee two wick signature jar that is just not performing. When I get halfway from these jars, the flames get super, super small. I have to I dump the wax out. It just never performed. And it's an awesome scent. It's like a really creamy banana bread with like the nutmeg and spices from the cinnamon. Love the scent. It just did not, did not, did not perform. Speaking of a candle that did not perform, did I have any good candles in this batch? I don't think so. <laughs> Old Fashioned Cider Donut from Bath & Body Works. It burned all the way down and got murky. No throw. I'm so sad Bath & Body Works did not bring back the caramel or uh, cider lane this year but this was the closest to cider lane it's like a creamy caramel apple cider mixed with like a cakey donut and it does say old-fashioned cake donut baked apple brown sugar and cinnamon no throw it burned fine all the way down but i got zero throw from this candle so super disappointing and i've heard other people disappointed with it too let's see i have a scent shot from Candles by Victoria in Pumpkin Pickin. I love this scent. Literally, I take her scent shot, cut it in half, pop it in two of my eight warmers that I have in my main space. It throws like a beast in two warmers. Like, I never have a problem with her stuff throwing. This is like a creamy vanilla pumpkin. It's so good. Not crazy spicy, so if you're not a fan of, like, spicy pumpkin, you'd love that. 
from Scentsy. Oh, let's see. I did pumpkin cinnamon swirl. It's okay. To me, Scentsy scents are just really basic. Like, there's nothing really crazy about them. Like, once you get these really unique blends from, like, Vendor Wax, when you melt Scentsy, it's like, eh, pretty basic. Like, you want to add more to it. It's like a creamy, buttery pumpkin scent, but I feel like you needed more. Pink Peppermint. I was having a super stressful day, and all I wanted to do was get, take a spa day. So I put an amazing bubble bath. I changed the wax to Pink Peppermint in my bathroom. This is a good one. It's nose clearing, bright, creamy peppermint. Nothing crazy, no vanilla, just really great peppermint. Let's see. Oh, more bags. Cookie Therapy White Elephant Exchange from L3. This was like a really creamy cookie scent. It was yummy. Apple Pie White Elephant Exchange, loved this. This, like anytime White Elephant Exchange is in a blend, it just really makes whatever it is really creamy. So this to me, I compared it to like an Apple Pie a la mode. I really liked it. I definitely would get more Apple Pie a la mode. Oh, my blend from the pharmacist's daughter, uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, and pie crust. This was good. Um, I put the entire loaf I put 20 warmers in my apartment, all throughout my apartment. 20 warmers, no throw. Nothing. I, I literally could not even smell it. Maybe like a 1 out of 10. Speaking of a 10 out of 10 every time, Ant's Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. What was this? A four pack of Fluta Tart? I don't even remember what shape this was. That looks like what the bag is. This scent is amazing. Love it. It's like a creamy, bakery, vanilla, cakey strawberry. It's heaven. Ooh, I finished Oh My Gourd from the Melted Mousse. This was another souffle. Pumpkin crunch cake, funnel cake, and vanilla ice cream. Awesome. Creamy, rich pumpkin. I even got like a little like Butterfinger vibe from it. I'm not sure if that was because of the crunch element. It was, it was so good and threw like a beast. Line Dry from L3. When I went on my New York trip, I actually took two cloud cakes and cut them up and put them all throughout my warmers to like reset my apartment. And it did. It smelled like I just had a lot of laundry going in here when I got back. It was great. White Elephant Exchange Pumpkin. Actually, now that I see this, the Ant's Jam Felt Jelly Rolls was a bitty bitty loaf because that's what this was too and I remember the same shape. White Elephant Exchange Pumpkin, this is a great, not spicy pumpkin bakery. If you want pumpkin bakery, but you don't want any spice to it, White Elephant Exchange Pumpkin from L3, amazing, such a good performer too. I finished a sample from Destination Wax in a pomegranate apple cider. Spiced pomegranate apple cider with extra apples. Tart and warm at the same time. This scent is great, you guys. It's uh, really like mauled cider, but that tartness of the peppermint, I mean, the pomegranate, amazing. I finished a little chunk bag, the only chunk bag that I have from Rose Girls, um, my friend sent me, in banana bread carbs, banana cream pie, baked zucchini bread, cookies and donuts. This was poured on February 12th, or this has arrived on February 12th. She doesn't put four dates, but my friend put a day that she got it in. I love this scent. Like, it's like, a banana cream pie and a zucchini bread sitting next to each other on like a buffet. Heaven. And speaking of Rose Girls, her Mario Melters are open right now. I placed a huge, huge pre-order. Like, huge, ginormous, amazing love. Another line drive from L3. I talked about that before. Marshmallow Mermaid Pie from Vintage Chic Scents. When I went to New York to see Waitress on Broadway, I did bring a warmer with me, just to, like a little hot plate. People are like, you really travel with warmers? Yeah, scent holds memory. So I brought Marshmallow Mermaid Pie with me to the hotel when I went to see Waitress, and this is a scent inspired by Waitress that she created, and I knew I obviously had to melt it when I went there. And this is sugar pie crust filled with a pillow of blue cotton candy cream and a layer of whipped coconut cream topped with fluffy mini marshmallows. And this was a souffle. And this was so good. You pick up on the richness of like the blue raspberry cotton candy, but it has a pillowy marshmallowy pie. I feel like Jenna Hutcherson when I melt this scent. It's so good. I finished from Candles by Victoria a, a scent shot in Waffle Cone. 
you guys, this was like loaded with oil. Uh, it almost, to me, I don't necessarily think it smells like a waffle cone. It smells more like a cinnamon pastry. Kind of like an elephant ear is the vibe I got from it versus like a waffle cone. But it threw like 10 out of 10 in my house. Crazy. Old fashioned cider donut. I also remember I burned this single wick when I burned the three wick to try to amp up the throw. Didn't get any throw from that. Well, you guys, my basket's getting empty. I don't remember if I talked about this candle in the last one. There, I know I talked about this one in the last one, that Farm Fresh Peach. But Apple Weather, if I didn't, I'll talk about it again. It is such a good scent. This is from last year. It is Farm Stand Fresh Apples, Lavender Leaves, and Cinnamon Bark. To me, it just smells like a cool, crisp air mixed with apple. Every time I smell this scent, it's just like, it smells, ooh, it smells so good. It's like, like a crisp wake you up in the morning scent with air. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Shower Jar. I swear I talked about this in my last empties video. I thought I dumped this bin out. Maybe I didn't. If I didn't, I like this scent. It's, oh, I finished the scrub in my last video, now that I remember. Pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. This is nice. The musky scent was a little too perfumey for my nose, but it's, it's okay. Some Scentsy Clams. I finished, I, I remember I did a mix of these two. Hemingway and Perfect Gentleman. I like Hemingway. It's like a really dark, rich apple cologne. Kind of like if like a warm apple mixes with mahogany teakwood. It's a really good scent. I really got a good throw from that. And I mixed it in with Perfect Gentleman. Which is okay. It's a little bit more of like a, like a, citrus zest verbena forward cologne for my liking but i decided since they're both like cologne scents i would mix them together gooey pumpkin butter cake from victoria candles by victoria love this this is definitely like a butter brickle mixed with pumpkin like you definitely get like stick a butter vibe when you smell this with the pumpkin cake super yummy jelly donut Love this, out of this world. I can't believe I only have one little scent shot of this. I need a huge candle in this. Oh, it's so good. It's like a rich, gooey donut, like a really yeasty donut, loaded with powdered sugar and like a creamy raspberry jelly. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize I finished so much up. All right. I finished, whoop, a wax melt single from Yankee Candle and Honey Clementine. I like Honey Clementine. I like the honey note in it. It's really, really rich. Pumpkin Cinnamon Waffles from Pharmacist's Daughter. I finished from Destination Wax, Sugar Vanilla Champagne. Effervescent Champagne laced with Sugar Vanilla. These are her samples. Love this. Bubbly, rich champagne, and that vanilla, it kind of made it like, it still made it smell like a drink, but it had like a little bit of a bakery vibe. I, I can't even describe it. It's so good. I need this in a bar. Wake and Bacon Cookie Land from Rose Girls. This was one of her chunk muffins. Sugary breakfast bakery, confetti cake, toffee butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. I did not like this. Mm -mm. I don't know if it's the sugary breakfast bakery, if it has that sugar milk scent, but it smells like stale cereal to me. I did not like that. And I have a couple more chunk muffins, so I thought I would like it more. I have a wallflower in my entryway of my apartment, I have an, a wallflower in the basement, and I have a wallflower by the cat food, so I just recently changed them. Caramel Pumpkin Swirl Enhanced Fragrance, this is like a new thing for Bath & Body Works. They are like more pure oils um, mixed with the wallflower. I like it. White Pumpkin, talked about it in the soap, Creamy Pumpkin, and Flannel. I have this in that like change the intensity wallflower plug. 10 out of 10. I like strong scent, so I put it on the highest setting. And then last but not least, I finished the coconut oil shaving oil from Bath & Body Works. I actually use this as like a bubble bath oil. I didn't use it to shave with. I just like it as a nice creamy bubble bath, and it was a really nice creamy scent. I don't love um, the formula, so that's why I just use it up as a bubble bath. And now my bin, well, I just threw those little things in there, but other than that, my bin is empty. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure again you subscribe. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. I have such exciting videos coming up for you guys. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.